Day one of the Travelers Championship is in the books, and for most of the day, it was a congested field at the top of the leaderboard. That all changed around 4 o'clock because of Tom Kim. He had a spectacular opening round. Kim shot the low score of the day, a 62 8 under par through 18 holes to secure a two stroke lead. Eight birdies for Kim, including back to back on 17 and 18 to create some separation heading into day two. I'm on my eighth week to kind of just keep it going and um, it's just kind of nice to see those rounds kind of come together and you know the next three days just kind of keep that same game plan um, whether good score or not score you know just kind of keep it together and kind of keep that sharpening. So Tom Kim has the solo lead entering the second round of Travelers. A tight field on his heels, though. At six under par, four players are tied for second. Kurt Kitayama among that group. He missed the cut at last year's Travelers Championship. No cut this year. Not that he would have to worry about it with the way he's playing. A bogey on four, but otherwise a clean day for Kitayama. Will Zalatoris missed the cut at the U.S. Open, but a bounce back performance here in Cromwell. Four consecutive birdies on the back nine and a bogey on 17 to finish tied at six under. Also there, Akshay Batia, a newer member of the PGA Tour, impressive in the opening round coming off a top 16 finish at the U.S. Open. A clean sheet with four birdies and an eagle to find himself in the mix. And Ricky Fowler, also minus six, he finished tied for 13th at last year's Travelers Championship, and he's two off the lead going into Friday. Birdie the second, um, started to see some balls go in, and uh, making putts kind of frees up the rest of the game to where you don't feel like you have to be perfect and just kind of kept it fairly simple. Another player of note, Scotty Scheffler, the world number one golfer, finishes his opening round three strokes back of the lead at five under par. One of seven players with a 65 on the day. 2022 Travelers Championship winner and fellow Team USA member Xander Shoffley joins him in that large group at minus five. I feel like I hit it nice. Um, found some swings in my or found some stuff in my uh, swing at the beginning of the week and uh, definitely feel like I'm swinging a lot better than I did last week. And last year's Travelers Championship winner Keegan Bradley didn't finish near the top of the leaderboard after 18 holes. The Vermont native ended his day at one under par. So the opening round of the Travelers Championship ends with fireworks from Tom Kim to pull in front, but with a tight field behind him, this could set up a fun day too. 54 holes to go in Cromwell, Jonah Carp, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.